Hello fellow pirates! Today we're celebrating the incredible feedback the live action adaptation of One Piece has received from people who've never experienced the story before. It's a testament to the power of this adaptation, bringing joy to both old and new fans alike. So sit back, relax and let's dive into comments, clips and messages from new fans I've gathered for you. Holy crap, I have goosebumps. Just going in the first, what, five minutes of the show and I am... Oh. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Amazing. Mount Synthus sent me this on Discord. My favorite thing about the characters was the way that they balanced each other out. Like Luffy on his own could be maybe too silly and naive, but the pragmatism of Nami and Zoro kind of balanced him out. And similarly, like Zoro on his own could be too edgy to deal with but he's balanced out by just the silliness of like luffy and usopp i am enjoying this show so so much i really love luffy's energy and just his sincerity and his outlook on the world and and just like the whole story being about you know ultimately friendship mm -hmm. and believing in yourself it's just so charming to watch but then of course you know you've got the kind of crazy stuff that's going on which is just mind-blowing and, and fascinating as well like that buggy the clown my heart feels so full i feel just so happy after watching this i'm like yes i understand why people like love the crap out of this genesec gamer wrote on discord i really enjoyed this going in as someone who hasn't seen anything it makes me excited to see a possible second season i think the soundtrack was amazing and brought a whole new level to the action scenes it was an amazing decision for netflix to bring eiichiro oda as to keep it as close as possible to his vision that was cute i like it a lot. But I get what you're saying. Like, it's, I even mentioned a little bit. It's like a little cartoony, but it's like cute. Like, it's yeah. like. Yeah. So when it was just going into it, I didn't know it was about pirates. I like that style. <laughs> and so when it started, I was like, oh. So I'm feeling like Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. being vibe. Like the young Jack Sparrow. Like yeah, the stuff and that he then said. it like switched it and now he's stretching. And then it was like, I like the hair colors. Yeah. I like the design. Yeah. It's got like this whole spin on it. I loved it. Yeah. It was excellent. Captain Morgan. <laughs> Captain Morgan! Man! I really enjoyed it. I could not stop smiling. Yeah. I casually consume manga and anime, like Dragon Ball or Sailor Moon. I've had One Piece recommended to me multiple times, and while I thought it looked fun, the sheer length of it made me put it off in time. My partner has loved One Piece for 20 years, and I was excited to get into it as well. We started the show and I was hooked 10 minutes in, by the humor and by the action. Binged it and then immediately went on Crunchyroll to start the anime, from beginning. Another, Another awesome episode, very now. awesome episode. Um, Love probably it. my, if not one of my favorite shows ever like, to Is exist. It really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because yeah. we watch a lot, like, and we have a lot of shows. Like, I just there's there, I just love every single thing about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, what other show have you ever seen that has all of that? Is everything. Uh, show? But it reminds right me a little there, bit of Goonies. Like well, all my childhood right, 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 favorite right. movies. Like right. this has, it's all part of. It's yeah. an adventure. It's, it's, it's different. It's romantic. Different. It's comedy. From someone who's never seen anything, I've enjoyed the absolute hell out of this. Really thinking that as soon as this is done, I might just start watching uh, One Piece and try and get up to date. Socks for Sale wrote me on Discord. I think so far my favorite character gotta be Luffy. I've seen clips of the anime version here and there, but I feel like Inaki really brought his own version to Luffy. I mean, there was so much blood, sweat and tears that went into this that it feels like it wasn't just about, you know, a lot of times they'll do things for propaganda or for money or, you know, whatever, but it genuinely feels like he wants to make the world a better place through his his show. One through piece. his writing and yeah. stuff. He's very grounded. Yeah. And I feel like he touches everybody. Yeah. He feels... He, Old he's, and new. He must I mean, be young. so, like, connected with Life? the human race. Yeah. And his empathy and his heart. Yeah. Like, that, to write like this, to touch so many people. And, and so many people relate to yeah. like his message. GJ from Discord sent me this. So I knew like some parts of the story of One Piece, but that's because I like watched the four kids dub with my little brother a long, long time ago. And so I still remember some of the stuff that happened there, but I wasn't about to watch a thousand episodes of that. 
Um, and so my little brother, like, he stayed into it. He kept up with the manga. My friends all got into it. They caught up with the anime somehow. Um, and so I was... I just said, okay, I'll watch the live action just to just to make fun of it and uh, to, to pretend that I know what's happening. And it actually exceeded my expectations. Uh, I didn't expect to actually enjoy it as much as I did, but I think it was like a pretty solid show. And I've, I'll probably keep watching it when the new season comes. Crimson wrote me on Discord, I had always seen One Piece from far away, like maybe on YouTube here and there, characters from the game Jump Force, my friend who watched One Piece talking about it, but I really didn't know about One Piece properly. But I was looking forward to the series since a long time. And when I tried it, man, it really gives that adventure aspect in a lovely way. Why was that so fucking cool? That was so exciting! I mean, like... I am so happy that I don't know what's gonna happen next because that was fun. It was so enjoyable and like I'm so itching to see what's gonna happen because obviously I don't know like Nikai XD wrote me on Discord. I've always assumed from what I've seen clips online that One Piece is a goofy action anime. The thing that surprised me the most was that the world was dark and interesting. Just Squid wrote me on Discord. My favorite would have to be Sanji. Throughout the episodes with him, he seems like a very genuine person that is willing to help anyone that needs it. He's also not afraid to fight for his crewmates as we saw him fighting alongside Zoro in the final episode. <laughs> this, this show just keeps getting so much better than I could have ever anticipated yeah the writing and uh you know nami's backstory did not disappoint that's something no. that i think we both had been asking yes. for <laughs> since the very beginning and we always had this feeling like there has to be more to that story there's no yeah. way there's you know the actress did such a great job at keeping this perpetual sadness yeah. about her you know like right underneath yeah. the surface the show started off as one thing yeah right it's turned into something completely different it's a story about you know friendship it's a story about loyalty it's a story about you know doing the right thing and sacrifice and even showing up for people who keep on pushing you away it's just the show that keeps on wow. giving and it keeps yeah. on giving us these amazing characters and just the beautiful moments and beautifully written episodes that it, yeah it, it's truly well produced like everything from the yeah. writing aspect to how it was shot yes. loving the visual storytelling mystic wrote me on discord i kind of hope to see luffy and his crew get into more hijinks like solely focusing on the relationship and dynamics between each other but i also want to see more of the warlords it would be cool if each of the pirates that Luffy defeated, like Buggy and Alvida, banded together to try and take him down for that sweet, sweet bounty. I absolutely adored this show. It's packed with big personalities, curious character design, and hugely ambitious set pieces, and really, I found that it all worked. The thing about it that grabbed me from scene one and just never let go, it's Luffy's infectious sense of adventure, ambition, and positivity, brimming with authenticity nonstop, and that's a big reason why it works so well. Considering that I think the anime likely has that same quality in it, I suspect it's something that's going to inspire me to seek out the source material, and that right there, I think is one of the most wonderful things you could say about any adaptation. Inspi wrote me on Discord, My favorite scene is when everyone sees Luffy's new wanted poster. His friends knew it was a big accomplishment for him, and his enemies became more determined to catch him. I'm super excited, I've been waiting for this for so long, and Chloe not being a One Piece fan, I need to know her opinion, and I need her to watch this with me. I wasn't expecting to find those little things funny. I think I have an appreciation for, for, for the goofiness, at least, of One Piece. Story-wise, I don't know yet, but the goofiness, I, I understand. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in, I'm gonna take that, bring it in. Oh my <laughs> God, it's been a journey. I was saying to Luke the other day, I was like, you've got to get used to One Piece being mainstream. Yeah. Like, One Piece used to be like a weird, obscure thing. Everyone is gonna know what One Piece is now. Yeah. So you, you're not different anymore? I mean, that's what I want. <laughs> I want more people on this. It is a great time to be a One Piece fan. It honestly is. I'm so happy. So yeah, that were all the reactions I gathered. Check out all these amazing videos. Link in the description. Thank you for watching and let's set sail.